I, I've heard some Windows logo, so I, I suppose you are ready. <laughs> okay, who's using Windows? Okay, nobody. Who's using Linux? Some Macs here, okay. Who doesn't have a computer? <laughs> Don't know what's going on here, okay. Grab some stickers, take some coffee and rest, okay. Um, I think we have to start. Um, I'm worried about the sounds. Maybe I will switch the mic. Today I'd like to show you Vertex. Uh, Vertex is very hot uh, stuff because uh, the third version was released two days ago. Um, one year ago it one year ago it uh, was awarded with JAX Award, and this year the JAX Award for for open technology went to ACCA. Okay, my name is Bartek Zanowski, I came from Poland, from Warsaw actually. Um, I work as a developer for Talk, it's a small software company, but uh, we are focusing sometimes on you know, the, the community to give some talks, so I have very support from my company to give such talks. For example here, and I'm of course Vertex lover. In my day to day after job, I'm, I'm also husband and father. And I'm involved in Computura conference, which is the biggest free of charge con conference, I suppose, in Europe. Uh, on the next Saturday, we'll have 1,400 people free of charge. We have a little registration fee because we had some situations that people didn't come. So, but all, all the money goes to, to the charity. Um, lately I've been invited to DevOps Poland uh, program committee, so um, I'm very proud of it. And I'm creator of something called Team Lights, which is currently not available, but it will be some kind of device that you can connect and see the status of your builds on the screen with flashing lights when something happens. Maybe someday I will sell it, okay. <laughs> All right, uh, as I said, Vertex was awarded last year and it was invented by Tim Fox uh, in 2011. It was, uh, it's supposed to be a clone for Node.js but written in Java and uh, he introduced some extensions and then it went to be something I suppose better than uh, Node.js. And as I said, it's very hot currently. Some buzzwords, you know, you can look at them and then I will tell about uh, most of them because it's simple but not simplistic. As they say, it's uh, thread safe, can run concurrently, okay? Uh, it's even driven asynchronous, it's scalable. Okay, but for me it's fun. Um, and uh, I, I, I wanted to start with some kind of problem. It's, you know, the, the best uh, presentation should have a problem that you can solve with this tool. Uh, so I have to convince you. And the problem is that the, the number of devices connected to the internet uh, rises uh, from year to year. And there, there are some you know, predictions that there, there would be about 30 billion of devices mostly Internet of Things, your refrigerators, your uh, toilets connected to the internet, etc., etc. Yes, they will order toilet paper when it's out. <laughs> yes, I suppose somebody will think about it. And um, you know, the you have to uh, manage a very high load of connections of data coming through the internet. The internet is ready with IP uh, version six. But uh, are you ready with your uh, current technology stuff? I suppose not, okay? And um, the problem is with traditional blocking approach, okay? So uh, you write synchronous code, I suppose, maybe ma major of you write synchronous code. Uh, it's uh, very hard to scale it, okay? Um, I will give you the slides. Oh, if you want to tweet about it, sorry, okay. Okay, you have to use lots of threads um, to, to manage all the connections because every connection is uh, um, 
use uses one thread in, in typical approach to to you know the, uh, make some computation, write some data to disk, and then respond and etc. etc. Okay, and there is a lot of concurrency which nobody uh, understands. There is a concurrency in practice which nobody uh, reads, and it's very complicated stuff. Okay, for example, let's take Tomcat. Um, by default, it uses only 200. Uh, 200. Uh, did somebody of you write Tomcat? Am I t t talking stupid things or not? Okay, um, because there are some names here on the. Of the, uh, in the room, um, it uses 200 co uh, threads to handle your connection, and other connection can uh, have to wait uh, until you serve them, and then uh, you have uh, you you have three threads, and you can um, you know um, process another connection. Okay, um, and this approach. Uh, um, oh, sorry. Um, and uh, in this approach, the um, the program has to wait until uh, something um, uh, when you interconnect with other systems, with database, with disk, uh, your program has to wait, and it blocks the thread, and it costs costs too much. Okay, and um, the cost involved in a lot of threads is uh, currently it's uh, uh, too big because you have to allocate memory. You have to use your system resources to switch between all the threads. Um, there is a story. My colleague uh, told me that he has some problems with a system uh, and that sent SMSs to the clients with, you know, the, the, some some kind of messages, promotion, advi advertisement, and he uses 1,000 threads. And uh, he doesn't know where it goes, you know, where the, these threads are waiting. They, they, they are connecting with, with some queues, JMS queues, to send messages to the clients with some database. And uh, he has a lot of problems because of such a huge scale of, of threads involved in, in, in his code, okay? So, to sum up, big thread pools are evil and synchronous core code is even more evil, okay? And um, I can um, show you uh, like this. If, if your thread pool are these uh, cars, you have car, and you have something to do, you take your car, go for a shopping, you leave the car, car waits, it's your thread. You do some shopping, take goodies, pack it into the, the, your car, and go and do other stuff. Okay, so your car could be uh, used by somebody else during uh, the, the time you are in the shopping mall, but it have to wait. So it's a kind of external communication with some, some system. And there is a solution, of course. Uh, no, it's not this solution. <laughs> there is a solution, taxi, which uh, implements some kind of, of, of this stuff. You call taxi, you drive. Sorry, my wife was calling me. Sorry, not now. Okay. Yeah, he was checking. Uh, she was checking uh, if I'm really in Barcelona or something. <laughs> I suppose. Okay. Uh, maybe tweet something and you know, right? You can take a selfie. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> With these guys, I, I will go if you will. Um, okay. Let's get back to, to the presentation. So, uh, taxi comes. You are using it for a while, and then you go. Do some shopping, maybe you know, you know the situation, and the taxi goes and serves to another person. Okay, so that's the basic idea of um, effectively using uh, threads. Okay, so we don't wait. Don't wait. So if we divide our task in a series of events, that could be uh, very efficient because. We do some, some computation and then don't wait for the result. She's calling me again. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I have to. Um, okay. I, I will. Okay. Um, <laughs> if she will call again, I will take the call and he will shout something that <laughs> will say, I, I'm here, really. So, um, and we don't wait for the job to finish, but we are, um, 
we are, uh, our code is being called with a new event when the job finishes, we could process the result and then give the uh, control back to, to, the, to, to the platform, okay? So, uh, for example, um, the connection from the Internet of Things comes, we process the request and then, for example, uh, save something to, to database, we don't wait for database to finish, but we are being called with a event when the database uh, will finish writing data or searching for something, okay? And between these two events, the thread is uh, free, so it can, it can serve for uh, another uh, event, okay? So that's the basic idea. Of course, we are using uh, non-blocking I.O., so the, the, these are the very low uh, end concepts. Okay? And the solution to sum up is asynchronous and event driven. And that's how it's made vertex. I have to make this simple. <coughs> so the, that's the basic idea. There, there are some various <coughs> events. There is a dispatcher that takes the event and takes the handlers connected with uh, type uh, of the event and then takes thread from a pool and handles the event and then it releases thread to the pool, okay? So you can see here, something comes, uh, handler um, processes the, the, the call, releases the control and uh, uh, instead of waiting for the result and when the result comes, another handler handles this uh, data and do something else, okay? And still it's, um, for example, in the, the same thread, but between those uh, handle calls, you can, you know, use this uh, thread for something else, okay? Um, the, 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 this, uh, uh, this model is a reactor pattern. This pattern is reactor pattern, which you might know from Node.js, but there is only one thread. If you are using Node.js, you have to scale it by using load balancer, okay? And in, inside of Vertex, there is a multi-reactor pattern which uses more threads, but not too much because we have to be efficient uh, because of the problem with context switching as well as, okay? And in version two, uh, the number of threads was equal to course count. I suddenly discovered, I it was two days ago, I didn't ask Tim about it, but um, I discovered that currently the, there is double of, of, of course. Maybe they did some computation and it, it made, you know, uh, they, they discovered that it's too efficient. But uh, compare this, uh, 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 this full size to, for example, to this 1,000 of threads which my colleague used, okay? So it's, uh, it's not comparable, okay? And uh, in Vertex, it's some kind of actor-like model, like in Akka, for example. Okay, show me the code. Do you have any time or uh, we are going home? No? Do, okay, oh, there is a lot of time, I'm, I'm too fast. Okay, so we will have some time for a coffee. I will show you some code. I have a lot of code. Um, uh, can you see the letters? Maybe no, you don't because there are no uh, no code uh, currently. I will <laughs> I will open some some. <laughs> okay. I might write first. Uh, code with myself, but I'm too nervous, so I will show you ready prepared code. Okay, so um, uh, that's uh, that's a little piece of code. It's that the uh, mm, the little piece. Can can you say that in English? The little um, amount of code you can you can uh, you have to write in Vertex to to have something, and uh, it's uh, some kind. So, uh, sorry, okay. calm, calm down, okay? And um, I will just run it. That's the, the best thing I can do now. So I'm using Vertex to run this vertical. 
okay? It deploys and it's some kind of hello world, okay? Hola Barcelona. Um, the idea is that um, always the, you have to um, extend the abstract vertical and then extend the start um, uh, method and here you have to subscribe for some events or make some code that generates events. So it's the, uh, it's the, the, the um, sorry. Okay, sorry, I'm too nervous. Okay. Maybe some jokes. I will go on with my presentation, and then I will um, I will show you more code when I'm come down. Okay, so um, Vertex uses uh, Vertex code is spread safe, and um, when the the code is spread safe, when you use synchronized words, okay, but uh, it's stupid and it's you make you create a bottleneck. Okay, so. Thread, uh, thread safe code is only when uh, you use one thread. Okay? But I said that Vertex, Vertex uses uh, more uh, threads in the pool. And that's the basic idea. When you write your code, when you write uh, verticals, which are the, these pieces, these actors, the, there is some kind of contract that uh, your code is always run in the same thread. So, it, this is the, the situation here. If you have your code, um, there is a thread assigned to your um, vertical, and when uh, uh, events come, these are always run in the same thread. So, there is never concurrent modification exception because your code uh, of your uh, vertical that processes your events would never be run by a different thread, okay? So that's, that's the basic idea of thread safety. And we came to, to vertical. Now, it's the basic deployment unit, okay? Um, as I said, it's an actor-like model because it reacts for, for the events. You can send events or, or it can generate events. Okay. As I said, it's the vertical is always run in the same thread assigned to this particular instance. So if, if we have pool with threads and lot of vertical instances, they are assigned and uh, to particular threads and always run in the same thread. Okay, and vertical can have many instances, and it's it is classes isolated. And now I will show you more code, and I, I promise it will be it will be okay. Okay, so um, <coughs> I said that uh, it's press safe, and um, okay, so. I will show you the code. I will deploy the vertical, which then deploys other verticals. Which um, the basic idea is to you know the, the starting point is to run first vertical, and then it deploys other vertical. Okay, um, so this one deploys. Um, vertical that creates uh, some events, okay? The, and I will show that um, there is some static uh, static fields, okay? 
um, which are uh, increased by in concurrent cause of, of uh, um, this event, but they won't mess with each other. Okay, and you can see here that the first th this this is uh, the class of the vertical, but um, setting uh, a lot of instances with a little switch here, uh, you can uh, scale it up. Okay, so we will have uh, many concurrent uh, instances of this same vertical, uh, and we, uh, it's that that's the way we can scale it up. But they don't mess with each other because they have separated class logs. Okay, so now I deploy them. Okay, and they start to increment their own static value. So it's the very you know, b basic example, but you have uh, to know that um, you can communicate with each other with, uh, with static fields, for example. Uh, there are uh, other ways of communicating, which I will show you in the minute. Okay? So, um, and that's the, the basic idea of scaling. If you have a lot of work to do, you just um, say how many instances uh, you need, and it it will scale. Maybe I'm I'm making too much of them, but okay. So I've created 50 instances. If you have big server, you can have you can have a lot of calls, and they will just scale up. Okay, 30 minutes left. Thank you. I will I will go farther. Okay. Mm. So. The basic idea is to create verticals which then react for uh, incoming um, events um, and then to process the data that will come and then pass, for example, result to, to other verticals or to, to external client, okay? Mm. And, um, the, the most important thing is event bus, which is some kind of nervous system, which you might know the, the idea. These balls are, are uh, verticals. If we span the event bus to more servers, we can uh, rapidly we can um, scale our system, okay? Um, it's, done, it's done through the Hazelcast. Uh, and um, this is the way vertex scales because you can span the event bus to unlimited uh, machines if you have unlimited on machines and there is idea to span it even to web clients so you can send messages to your web client to JavaScript and to react for sorry incoming messages and then send them back okay and there, there are two ways of using event bus like JMS topics when you just send to all receivers and uh, like point to point when you can send um, messages to um, all the receivers but they are chosen uh, with a round robin one by one. So if you have, for example, 10,000 10, of, of pieces of data to be processed, you can write one vertical that is some kind of worker. It processes the data, okay? It gets one piece of data, processes, and then gives back the result. And then uh, you can deploy with many instances of it, okay? So you scale, and then you can use even bus to distribute the pieces of data to all these workers. And from the producer perspective, you have a queue of job to be done. You just send um, to, to proper address at the event bus all the data one by one, and Vertex re, uh, redistributes the data to all the instances that you have created with a round robin algorithm, which means uh, one, two, three, uh, the last one, and then goes back to, to this one. And <coughs> Vertex assures you that it will uh, distribute uh, data equally, and you don't need to, you know, um, uh, 
make it by your own sales, uh, by your own sales to, to receive the data. It just uh, um, using this um, send um, command, you just send the data to, to all the instances you have. If you have more, more cores, because the IT guy gave you more power, you just increase instance count and it, uh, it uh, runs magically, okay? And yeah, like I said, it's a round robin, okay? Um, I will show you now some examples with event paths. So I have here starter that starts some other verticals. First one, Is it broadcaster? Okay, okay. It just broke broadcast a message to to uh, all the listening verticals. Okay, uh, this code is kind of shitty because I tried to concat some uh, strings to for you to uh, to to to, uh, to um, have uh, better uh, output here on the console. Um, okay, so this one broadcast the message. We have consumers here. We just receive the message and then it prints the message body. But you can think about some kind of some piece of data that have to be processed, all right? Uh, and then I will show you this sleepy consumer in a minute, okay? So I will increase some instances, for example, three instances. Uh, there's, there is a lot of magic doing uh, going here around. Uh, for example, you can uh, get deployment ID, and when you don't use this vertical, you can undeploy it. Uh, you can uh, almost everywhere add handlers for um, for the result, and after the deployment, which is asynchronous again, you can be called with uh, a uh, result of 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 this of this uh, deployment, so you can know if 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 it succeeded or it failed, etc. etc. Et and a lot of these things you you can uh, use uh, uh, handlers everywhere because it's asynchronous. Okay, so currently I will deploy three instances. Uh, sorry, um, it's a uh, even pop stuff. Okay. I'm using um, row, row vertical, some, they call it row vertical deployment. Uh, as you see, I'm deploying Java classes, but not compiled. And there is a class loader, compiling class loader, that compiles on the fly. It's not, you know, for, for it's uh, almost for, I don't know, for presentation purposes or, or maybe uh, you know, playing around because you, you won't use it in production, of course. Then you have to use uh, compiled code, okay? So I will start it. It will deploy it to, um, to kinds of, of verticals. Uh, and then you, you can see it's broadcasting message number one and you can see here there are uh, three verticals because I deployed three instances. They receive the same message, of course, and you can see here that's the basic idea. They have their own threads because the thread pool is big enough, so they have can be assigned own threads. If you have uh, so many instances that you don't don't have so so many threads, uh, they they will you know, um, be assigned to a, a few verticals will be assigned to the same thread, but they are using the, the same threads again and again. So th there are other messages and you can see uh, these um, verticals are assigned to their own threads and they always receive the message in their own thread. For example, let's stop. Let's see this. Uh, Three E. This is a hash code of, of the so three uh, E thread five. Okay, here and here three E. It's still using thread five. So it's always the same thread, and that's the the contract I, I was talking about. And then if you, for example, you use something that 
I call it sleepy consumer because it sleeps inside of of the handler code. You don't you don't want to do it because you block the the thread and it cannot serve. But if you if you see here, I will stop now. These three guys received message number nine, but this sleepy consumer received message four and here somewhere three and uh, vertex queues the messages okay so if the vertical takes uh, the, the handler takes a lot of time to process the messages would be queued okay so th this this um, th th this this is the kind of nice behavior here mm, okay now i will show you point to point Okay, it deploys, um, in the beginning, it deploys the code. And pro the, the, this, this is the same situation, okay? So um, I have to, I, I'd like to skip here and I will create right away five instances, okay? And it will send this, the, this message to, to all these instances using round robin algorithm. So it's a kind of distribution of, of the of the, the workload, okay. <coughs> okay, it's, it is sending the, the job and you can see, you can see that these IDs of the, the verticals are different because the uh, consequential verticals are being called. Okay, so you get the idea, um, I will have to go with my slides because 15 minutes left. Um, okay, no, I won't show you slides. I will show you the web server, which is, I think, more interesting. So, vertical uh, ver vertex can uh, have a support for uh, HTTP servers, HTTP client, um, other. Uh, TCP uh, servers and other servers and um, it is uh, very nice to use it because um, there, there are extensions to, to uh, Vertex Core and uh, you, can, you can build your server with handling uh, different, uh, different types of code so you can um, create something like routers and when you can accept some um, some type of of uh, requests, uh, for example, sorry, okay, I'm lost. I will show you the code again, okay? Uh, uh, the example. Okay. We'll start with simple web server. We just, the code is here, just starts the HTTP server, and when every request comes, it re responds with text okay okay so it's a um, basic response but now I will show you the idea of spanning the event bus okay so I created more sophisticated web server okay this was this guy and uh, every connection that goes to this uh, address you can you know um, create on routes it's being handled by by sobjs handle and sobjs hand, sobjs it's a nice uh, technology that uh, allows you to send streams to your client 
but if you are using, for example, uh, Internet Explorer, which is very stupid, you can fall back to some simpler uh, types of connection, even for polling, okay? So th this is the, the server that serves static files, but we, we, can, we can get uh, news from, from the, the backend. And th th I have a publisher that sends uh, the, uh, messages to the event bus, and then um, these are routed also to the web client because I have some code in JavaScript. Which I, it's not, not a secret, I might show you. That connects to the event bus. It's, it's a part of Vertex. We, you, you can register here for this address and every time the message comes here, um, uh, it is uh, also routed uh, to the to the web client, so you can distribute messages even to, to your web client and then uh, send them back to the to the server through this channel. Of course, you can use uh, other ways, for example, REST uh, ser uh, services to to connect to the to the server. Okay, um, there 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 are some basic ideas of. Uh, of security, uh, you can block which uh, which uh, addresses from event bus would be routed to uh, to your um, web client. And currently, I'm uh, setting here um, only this address. Okay, if I I, I uncomment this line, I would um, uh, I would send all the messages from the backend to to the front end, which is stupid because. Some, somebody can you know check the internals of the system and maybe send some data inside of it and destroy it. Okay, let's get to my beautiful slides. Um, ten minutes left. Um, the Vertex version three was rewritten, I suppose, from scratch, and it um, it was divided in Vertex Core, which I showed you. Uh, which uses the idea of deploying verticals of event bus um, and the, the server stuff. Um, and there are a lot of uh, extensions and uh, there are new extensions coming soon. Uh, for example, the, the web extensions and data access, security, as you can see, it even uh, has a, a implementation of uh, um, reactive based streams uh, and the re reactive Java, uh, Rx Java. Okay, so if you prefer to write uh, reactive code, you, you can do it with, the, with Vertex. Okay, um, there is a tech empower company which uh, makes um, independent benchmarks. Uh, you cannot see here, but the, the, there is a, oh, I cannot zoom, maybe I could zoom it. Um, the, 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 there is, oh, I can, I can show it here. Vertex is here. Um, it's the, the, this was the very simple check with serving plain text with a lot of technologies. Um, it's very interesting because Vertex is based on Netty. <coughs> and Netty is more, I don't know, worst uh, a bit. Um, there is a Node.js deep deep down here, which is, um, I don't know, uh, I didn't check how, how do they, did they um, how did, did they, uh, their, own, their comparison, but you can see here, the code is somewhere on, on the GitHub, so you can check by your own self. And, okay, the, to sum up, Verticals are like actors, they react for, um, for the events and they can generate events, okay? <coughs> uh, they are iso isolated, so you can um, be sure that it's, they have their own thread, the same thread, it, the, the code is uh, never messes with the other instances of, of the same vertical, I mean the same class, okay? And it can be can run concurrently uh, if you have a lot of instances. That 
I, I showed you, if you have a lot of resources on the server. And this is uh, asynchronous code, and uh, it's even driven. I think it's the future of computation. I've, I've run this code on Raspberry Pi, and it, even if it's Java, it goes uh, runs very efficiently because it you know, um, tries to be efficient uh, at using resources. It has even bus, which is the most important thing, scalable, and it's polyglot. I, I didn't show you, um, but you can write the, the code uh, of the verticals uh, in JavaScript, Groovy, the version 2 of Vertex had uh, support for Scala, for Clojure, for Ceylon, and for PHP even. And this, this implementation treat their languages at the same level. So uh, even uh, though the Vertex was written in Java, you know, the uh, implementations uh, of your code in, written in, for example, JavaScript are at the same level. So you can take your front-end guys from your company and involve them in creating uh, back-end uh, software, for example. Uh, currently, you can write uh, in Ruby also, in version uh, 3, but I suppose there will be more implementations. Mm, and how you can get started? You can go to the Vertex.io webpage. Okay, the, there, there is a lot of examples, a uh, lot of examples, you know, to, we had to, I suppose, make a new conference about Vertex to, to talk about all these examples. Um, you can use Maven or, or Gradle, there are examples how to start. You can grab a sticker, which I have left on the back, and I have some more stickers if you'd like, and put them on your laptop, and have fun, okay? If you have any questions, because we have more, about two minutes left, one minute, two minutes left. No, oh, we are exhausted with my presentation, okay? Sorry for my nerves. Um, Sometimes I have some, some situation. Okay. Oh, that, that, sorry, sorry. Oh, one question. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you can get extra stickers. <laughs> Sorry, no. The, the question was, uh, do, you, I, do I know Ratpack? No, I'm, I don't. So, sorry. Um, do, you, do, you need, uh, do you see any similarities? That's the, the good, good idea. I will check the red pack so I can you know, be, be more um, sophisticated and, uh, you know, to, to, when giving this presentation. There is a lot of similarities with uh, ACCA from TypeSafe, you know, uh, because, uh, um, uh, the, the, because of the actor model, for example. You know? Okay. Man, any other questions? Maybe? Do I have time yeah. for another question? Just that okay. Yes, um, it, it uses Hazelcast to cluster, um, and the, the, um, uh, but you you can um, the, you can use SPI uh, to provide all implementation. There, there is a default implementation using Hazelcast uh, with a clustering manager or. Some, some, some. Uh, it's the name of the, the class, but you, you can provide only implementation, uh, and uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, in these extensions points um, um, <coughs> that you can provide all, all, all implementation for for Vertex. Okay, and it uses of course Netty, which which is the the, the, the basic uh, because Netty uses non-blocking I/O and thread pools, and it's so it is so efficient. Um, but that's, uh, I was astonished that it's a bit faster than Netty itself. I don't know how, 
Net is very complicated. My colleague showed me uh, some piece of code. Net is very complicated. Maybe these guys that made these benchmarks, they didn't know how to use Net and uh, wrote some you know, inefficient code. Um, if you have other questions, please write to me. You can, you know, tweet something. I've used, I've stole some stone, stole, stolen, sorry, my English bad. Uh, some pictures and have fun with Vertex. Thank you. Gracias. Okay. I hope it was, if it was not as, as you know, ugly in my presentation. I'm okay. Today is my birthday, so I thought that I will I will go to Barcelona. Yeah, it's a present from myself. Sorry, from myself to, to myself. You know, <laughs> to go to Barcelona. I love this place. Okay, enjoy the conference. Thank you. Thank you.